Amber is not done explaining that she is all broke, but it appears she is not broke yet. Recently, she was spotted at an expensive A-list restaurant. Earlier, people noticed her shopping from discount market TJ Maxx, but now she is dining in the expensive restaurant on her own. Though it's not the first time she's been dining here, and with that, yet another lie is exposed. Where does she get the money to dine in an expensive restaurant? What do fans have to say about her? Keep watching to know more. Dining in an expensive restaurant is not something that Amber can afford right now if she claims to be broke. The Aquaman star, who was first spotted out east in mid-June, has been spotted twice in the last two weeks at the Starry Le Bivouquet in Sag Harbor, according to our sources. It was a casual dinner, one spy explained. A few people took notice of her. She appeared to be having a good time. Fans are speculating how broke she is to dine in an expensive restaurant. One user said, it is similar to what happened to OJ. Simply sell everything, get a job at McDonald's, and pay the judgment off gradually. Another said, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Elon Musk is funding a portion of her lifestyle because he's the baby's father. And there will always be some jerk who will try to save her and give her money. I'm sure her PR team is spreading misinformation to make her look like the victim. This summer, celebs and A-listers have frequented the eatery, which transforms into a buzzing late-night scene. Elvis star Austin Butler was recently spotted on a date at the high-end French restaurant. The restaurant has also served Steven Spielberg, Emily Blunt, and Hugh Jackman. Heard was first spotted in Watermill in June at Greek restaurant Calissa with her sister Whitney Heard and Whitney's two children. While Heard's attorney filed a motion on page 43, she stayed with the Hamptons. Later week, I asked a Virginia judge to overturn her lost defamation proceedings. During the former couple's high-profile trial, Depp argued that the ruling was not supported by evidence. According to the document, Depp continued only defamation by implication theory. Ms. The remarks I heard were actually incorrect. Heard's attorney also stated that jury trial 15 would provide the incorrect birthday during jury selection. It claims that it was even illegally elected by. Earlier, she claimed she was broke and that that was due to hefty legal fees. Amber Heard's lawyer stated that the actress is unable to pay Johnny Depp the $10.4 million she owes him, citing sources who claim the actress is poor as a result of the high legal fees associated with the dramatic defamation case. The actress, 36, is broke as a result of her high-profile legal battle with her ex-husband. One source even blamed Heard's previous overspending on travel, clothes, gifts, and wine. If she is broke and owes ex-husband Deb $8.4 million in restitution, how she was spotted bargain hunting at TJ Maxx in Bridgehampton and picking up salmon at Citarelle in Southampton. The under-the-radar 33,000-square-foot TJ Maxx outpost in the ultra-exclusive hamlet of Bridgehampton, where the average home sale is $3.62 million, has almost become a satirical speakeasy for the summoning class and budget-conscious elites. Mona Sharp, a personal shopper in New York, has limited time when she travels to the Hamptons from Manhattan during the summer, but she always makes time for TJ Maxx. I go there on purpose. It's a great secret, Sharp said. They sell these designer clothes to the locals. They merchandise based on who their customers are. That is why Bridge Hampton is more upscale than Brooklyn. Sharaf, who claims to have taken her clients to TJ Maxx, claims that a $1,000 budget will stretch further at TJ Maxx than at any retail boutique. You can get six pieces instead of two, she explained. According to multiple reports, the Aquaman star was forced to change legal counsel and is now relying on her homeowner's insurance to cover the cost of her current attorneys. But the insurer also sued her for willful act. They claimed that she didn't pay her legal fees, instead, they did. They charged a lawsuit against her, saying she used them, and now they are not paying her a single penny for her trial. Do you believe Amber is all broke? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe for more.